Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. <laughs> Again, Assassin's Creed 2 here on the Game Professor channel. I am your host, the Game Professor, and today we are going to be going through Torre Grossa's secret. Infiltrate Torre Grossa and find the Assassin's Seal hidden within. So let's get to it. Oh, I was hoping that this was going to be a purely platforming one, but all right. We are dealing with full notoriety as well. I guess that's fine. See what we have to do here. Nice and simple. This probably is going to be a case where I'm going to have to do some chasing. Oh, and actually you can tell that this is a it that this one is intended to be completed much earlier in the game because the guards are very obviously Borgia guards so it's interesting to look for little visual cues like that just because they can make a difference in your experience go See if I can sneak around and get some assassinations off. If you have any information, come. There we are. This other one must be right above me. That's. Oh, there he is. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm not really gonna worry that much about killing these guards as we go through. As I've been showing basically throughout the entirety of this game so far the guards that are in these spaces in general you can kill them with impunity um let's see here though where do I want to go I probably want to get up there there's a part of me that's wondering if there's a secret area somewhere ooh That just reminded me of a different sort of manner of getting up a building that is introduced in Brotherhood. All right. Yeah, looks like looks like we're platforming our way up. There we go. And I'm not hearing the telltale sound of the jingle jangle informing me of a hidden area yet so I'm trusting that I'm not missing something where is he ah it's gonna be up there all right let's do this then that's not what I wanted you to do, Ezio. Come on. Don't be stupid. I let you get! It's getting clear! Beautiful. Nice and easy. Sweet. I know that I used an extra throwing knife that I didn't need to use because I forgot that I was here in San Gimignano and I don't have to use two knives to kill an enemy in San Gimignano. Okay, so I need to go that way. But what's over there? This is one of those moments where I'm not in I'm not positive if it's trying to tell me about a secret area or if it is that ah, secret area. Perfect. 
that's that funny thing where you have to kind of judge is it telling you where to go or is it a secret area luckily for the most part it's the these games are good about making sure that the secret areas are somewhat away from your your uh, destination so that if you're noticing them you're like oh let me check that out because that looks different oh I remember this place now I remember having to fight all these brutes all right let's see here and I definitely remember all of these tapestries and such you're gonna make this easy for me or are you gonna be annoying you're gonna be annoying there's a part of me that m thinks that I might want to use my poison just for the heck of it Of course you had to stand up that quickly. There we go. I do like using the poison when I can though. Just because it makes fighting them a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Let's see what I can get off these guys. Sweet. Definitely down with more throwing knives. I also was honestly hoping, at least with the Brute, that he would also fight his buddies a little bit for me. <laughs> Obviously didn't work quite the way I wanted it to, but whatever. Not the end of the world. Alright, let's get up here, because I believe that's what it's trying to get me to do. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh boy. Nanato, we're losing him. I mean, you're the ones who decided to jump down. Which even I could have told you was a terrible idea. Alright, let's see here. Let's see, where are you going to drop down? Alright. Well, fine, maybe it... Oh, oh! Dang it, Ezio! There we go. There we go. Alright. I'm done looting though. You guys can keep your minimal florins and maybe throwing knives. There we go. Work our way back up. I do love these coats of arms. I love the, the, the range of them. Come on. That's you. All right. So. Now, what I was trying to do. Can, can you actually move, please? This is what I was trying to do. I was trying to get over here. Because I think it was trying to get me to come over here. I think. 
There we go. Alright. Now... Hmm. Let me see here. Come on. Maybe not. Say. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, but can I get that one? Oh, I can. Sweet. No, you're not. You're really not. Ah, oh, man. You Borgia guards are so easy to kill. It's stupid. That's a secret area up there. Oh, should I go for it? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Now, million dollar question of, come on, or, hmm, or does it want me to try to get up to the rafters to get over there? That's another possibility. Let's see. Oh, yep. I see where I can get access to the rafters. There we go. Gotta look for the little clues. That's the key, guys. There are always going to be little clues to help you figure out precisely what the game wants you to do in order to get to spaces, especially in regard to secret spaces. And some of them are really weird. There's a reason that I haven't gotten every single secret location in the game. But some of them are really good. And then obviously we have a nice straight line back over here. And that gets us here to our next bit of platforming to get to where we want to go. We are just going to be working our way up the tower now. So, let's get to it. And if you remember what I said during the the um, tomb that we did just before this, about the whole sense of there being, like, changes in difficulty as the tombs go on uh, and the intricacy in the kinds of platforming that you have to do if you th when you realize that this particular tomb is supposed to be done earlier on you can see that the platforming isn't quite as precise and intricate compared to the one that we did last time Or the uh, the um, the tomb in um, the 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 tombs in Venice, which are essentially as intended to be the final tombs. Those are really I'm gonna wait here for a second. Let him work his way back around. Start. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go, Ezio. There we go. Sorry, dude. No such luck for you. Let's see here. Can I... How do I do this? Gonna make me climb the... There we are. Of course. Something simple. Climb the window. When in doubt, climb the window. That could actually be a motto within Assassin's Creed games. Honestly. I 
And obviously, I mean, so this would have been done given the fact that the guards are clearly Borgia. This would have been completed during the, or Borgia. I, I realize I've said this. I mean the Patsy, the Patsy guards, Jesus. There's a fail on my part, my goodness. The Patsy guards, um, because they are so noti the noticeably Patsy, this has to have been intended to be completed during the Patsy conspiracy. So, um, this is definitely much earlier on temporally for when Ezio should have been finding all these. And if anything, what it tells you is that we probably should have already had Altair's armor by now if we were completing things in proper temporal order and stuff like that. But it's all good. That That is part of the fun of these games is you don't have to complete everything in the quote-unquote correct order. So that's why it's good stuff. All right. So that's the last of the assassin seals. So I am at this point going to go back to the um, back to the villa. I'm going to get uh, Altair's armor. And then we're going to go off to Venice. Or, hmm, actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go back to Venice because I'm going to get the last feather. And I'm also going to have Leonardo decrypt all of our... Um, codex pages because I believe we're we have the last four codex pages in our possession I'm pretty sure we do so that is what we're going to work with at this point and we have a ton of money in the chest anyway so might as well collect the money right um let's see where is the nearest travel spot. We will go here. And then I will I will worry I'll work on the rest of the glyphs um, in subsequent episodes to make sure that we get them all. I, I do want to do some checking just to make sure that I'm remembering Locations make sure that I making sure that I didn't overlook a glyph somewhere that we've spent a lot of time already all that good stuff Because I have been known to forget to do things obviously case in point being all these assassin tombs Just putting them off needlessly very on brand for me, so Off we go back to Monterey Johnny or we're going to Venice. We're going to Venice. We're going to get that last feather. Um, make sure that I have the correct map in front of me and make sure that I go to the correct location. Um, we're going to go to Dorsoduro. And the, I remember why I missed this feather earlier. It's because it was in the area that the Carnival, or not the, not Carnival, the um, the Marco Babarigo party. It's where his party happened. So that's why I didn't get it earlier. It's going to be right on the line here. And then we'll just come straight back here. Then go back to Bring me your the um, 
thing, the, uh, the villa. I just noticed there are people in Carnival attire right now. I'm not sure why. I feel like that might be a glitch. Because we're well past Carnival. And there's no reason. Or is this area just always decked out for Carnival? Maybe it is. All right. This is just messing with my brain in terms of the timing of everything in the game. That's okay. Especially since Carnival stuff is happening and we do not have a mask on. <laughs> and that's just weird. Ah, uh, there we go. Final feather in memory of Petruchio. Bring the feathers back to Maria. And let me also get over to Leonardo. Because he is around right now, right? Right? Yes, he is. There's always... There's always a little bit of a question about if Leonardo is around. Just because um, there are parts of the story where he vanishes. <laughs> so... You can actually end up with a huge influx of codex pages because of that. Um, okay, yeah, that particular district must just always be decked out for Carnival or something. There's music that I would have expected. Just general, we're exploring the world music. Did not think about the swimming aspect being so slow. I apologize, guys. And we are getting to the point where we will be continuing on with the story. I do promise. I realize that we've had four episodes of diversion away from the main story. And I know that that can sometimes be a little less in interesting for folks. I absolutely view stuff like this as critical for fleshing out the story in its entirety so you'll never see me not do stuff like this that is not what I wanted you to do Ezio I definitely was pointing straight and not slightly cockeyed like I always do that absolutely had nothing to do with me being bad at playing games I believe these are the last codex pages as well. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha, <laughs> you found another one. How exciting. If this isn't the very last of them, the last ones that we're going to get are going here. to be Take from there finishing the final missions. I got it. All right. Now, nearest fast travel. Here's my nearest fast travel. Probably this one over here. It's a fairly straight shot. And then we are going to have a huge, uh, we are going to have a cutscene that I have never personally experienced. Um, and I'm very excited for it because it will be Maria finding her voice again. And I, as I've said, this is critical for her as a character, critical for her narrative, critical for, I think, for Ezio, because it is a reflection of a final promise that he made to his younger brother. It's... There is so much beauty in the completion of the of the feather collection. And again, I I always bring up the contrast to how the flag collection is in the first game. And are are we not gonna be able to climb that? Thank you. That made no sense. So back to Monterigioni. And 
doing a lot of collecting of things right now. Um, I am going to drop off the last of the uh, the last of the uh, the rest of the codex pages that I have. We'll see if I. It was either four or five that we had left to find. I think. Um, so. Hopefully I'm remembering that correctly. So we will start with the with the um, with the seals. We are finally going to get the armor of Altair. Then I will do the codex pages. And then finally we will drop off the feathers with Maria. But first, as I've said, the armor of Altair. We have the final seals. So close. And this is also going to raise the value of Monteri Joni, I believe. So, even though we're getting so close to the end of the game, we're just increasing the value epically. Let's do it, Ezio. Get you that armor. Beautiful. Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. Boom, baby. There we are. So this... That's the armor of Altair, so we have everything. So, get basically everything we could possibly get. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I, I really, as far as the back plates go, I prefer the, um, I think this it's uh, this armor, the the Missy Glass armor, uh, and actually, it's the this armor is almost as good as the armor of Altair, and I love the filigree on it. But get take advantage of getting every little bit that you can get <laughs> in terms of advantages. Okay, so this is the final Codex Pages. Let's do it. And we can actually finish off this map. That's not what I wanted. Oh yeah, I forgot that we could do that. I Eventually, I might go through and um, actually look at everything in that regard see everything that the uh, um, that the codex pages say I think that's right that oh whoops there we are I think I think we're good. All right. Now, if I haven't gotten them rotated correctly, Mario will tell us um, when we finally get to the point where we're actually supposed to read the codex wall. But now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for, I think everyone should have been waiting for it, but 
There we are. Ooh, that's a huge increase. Oh, Maria. Mm. And it's so simple. It's such a simple moment. But she has, it, it, in the next game, she has regained her voice. She has clearly had that interaction with Ezio, and Ezio should have played that part in ensuring that she wasn't forgotten, and ensuring that his brother wasn't forgotten, all these things. But here we can see all of our wonderful targets. We have Silvio Babarigo. Marco Barbarigo, Carlo Grimaldi, Uberto Alberti, Vieri de Pazzi, Emilio Barbarigo, Francesco de Pazzi, and the Pazzi conspirators. So You can see we still have some space here. Definitely still have some space for some more targets. <laughs> Obviously the big one, the big presumable one being the Spaniard himself, Rodrigo Borgia. So let's get ourselves back down. We can collect our money. And then I think we will be done for this episode, guys. So thank you, as always, for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out and follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. But until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I will see you then.